Let's move on now to our regular segment, a look at how the foreign media has been covering some of the top news stories coming out of India. The Economist had a lot, of course, on uh, India-American relationships and what's going to be happening when Prime Minister Modi goes there, but also a big article in The Economist on how India has overtaken China as the country with the largest diaspora in the world. With approximately 18 million individuals, the Indian diaspora has experienced notable achievements, says the economist. Uh, the Chinese diaspora has encountered suspicion in certain cases. Well, obviously, the foreign media piece that got the most amount of attention, including back in India, was the uh, American YouTube channel Breaking Points in its interview with Jack Dorsey, which, of course, is where the Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey accused the Indian government of censorship and making threats during his time as CEO. He said that India had made multiple requests uh, 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 concerning the 2021 farmers' protests and had made threats to shut down Twitter and conduct raids. As I told you earlier in the program, the Indian government did respond very strongly to that particular interview, saying that these statements were outright lies. Meanwhile, Human Rights Watch, and it was a joint report by Human Rights Watch and the Internet Freedom Foundation, which drew some attention to the negative consequences of internet shutdowns in India, and it said it does particularly affect the rights of impoverished and marginalized individuals.